No fighting. No two people will fight one another. Can you believe? That has never happened since Habil and Qabil. <laughs> has never happened. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to the channel. Guys, you guys are really, really amazing. And Happy New Year once again to everybody out there. And today we're going to do a reaction. And this one was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go react to Peace on Earth in the final days. Uh, this is after Dajjal or something. Yeah. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. After Ya'juj and Ma'juj, there shall be a period of luxury and peace, the likes of which this world has never seen since the beginning of time. The amount of peace and luxury that will take place, our Prophet Sassan mentioned that one Romana, one grapefruit, or one pomegranate will suffice an entire tribe. And one shank of lamb will be eaten by an entire subdivision of a city. In other words, the earth will give like never before. And in one version, it says that the uh, snakes will play with the, 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 the toddlers and the lions and, the, and the, the wolves. The, the wolves will play with the lambs, for example. These phrases are found. What we see in this is that after all of that fighting, years and years of the Dajjal and Ya'juj and Ma'juj and whatnot, and we don't want to be alive when that happens. Those that live through, Allah will give them some peace. And this is the sunnah Allah fi khalqihi. Inna ma'al usri yusra. Fa inna ma'al usri yusra. Inna ma'al usri yusra. This is the sunnah of Allah. Those people that saw the worst of the worst, and we do not want to be amongst them, we should seek refuge in Allah from living to see the jal. Na'udhu billahi min fitnat al dajjal. We don't want to be around when the dajjal comes. We don't want to be here. But if those people that are here are here, and they manage to eke through those years of turmoil and trial, that generation, then they shall be blessed like no other generation has been blessed since the beginning of time. How long will this time frame be? Some a hadith mentions seven years. And are these these seven years or another Allah knows best? But there will be a few years, and this is proven by our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, Wallahi, he gave a qasam to Allah. You shall perform Hajj and Umrah to the Kaaba even after Ya'juj and Ma'juj. That's these years now. Now the fact that you're performing Hajj and is performing means it's more than one Hajj. For a few years, there shall be peace in this world. No fighting. No two people will fight one another. Can you believe? That has never happened since Habil and Qabil. <laughs> has never happened. But Allah will bless those people when they have seen how evil war is. For those years, no two people will ever have an argument. Khalas. Utter peace on this earth. Now, unfortunately, what we learn with that peace and stability some people's hearts, or maybe the next generation that is born or whatnot, their hearts will become hard and lacking. And we'll explain why in a while. But these years will be the best years of all of mankind, but we don't want to live to see them because we have to go through something to see them. And eventually, something will happen. Isa will either die or, or, or whatnot, or Mahdi will die. We don't know when, by the way. And by the way, there are legends found. That Isa, uh, we can say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for Isa, we can say rahimahullah ta'ala, all of this is allowed for Isa and for any righteous person by the way. Uh, Isa, rahimahullah ta'ala, and sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no problem, shall, according to some reports, die a natural death and be buried in the hijr of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina. Where do we get this from? By the way, this is not an authentic hadith. But there are such a hadith. Of them is the hadith of Abdullah bin Abdul bin As, which is not authentic, I'm going to come to that. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Yanzilu Isa ibn Maryam ila al-ardi. Isa will come down to this earth. 
فيتزوج he will get married ويولد له and children will be born to him ويمخث خمسا وأربعين سنة and he will live for 45 years he was taken up at the age of 33 so he will live till he's 45 so another 13 years or so and this would make sense with all that we have said ثم يموت فيدفن معي في قبري then he shall die and he shall be buried with me in my qabr. Then I and Isa ibn Maryam will stand up together and between us will be between Abu Bakr and Umar. Now, this hadith is reported in a number of very, very obscure books that none of you would have heard of. Uh, Ibn Abi Dunya uh, mentions it and Ibn al-Jawzi in his Al-Ilal al-Mutanahiya and Al-Muntadam and Al-Wafa and all of them say that this hadith is very weak. It is very weak. Some of them say it is even munkar. Uh, so it's not an authentic because there's a very well-known person in there by the name of Abdul Rahman uh, Al-Afriqi who was known to be a very weak narrator. Uh, so the hadith is not authentic. There is a narration in Sunan al-Tirmidhi but it's not a hadith. Abdullah ibn Salam. Who is Abdullah ibn Salam? Hmm? the ex-rabbi of Medina. He was the senior most rabbi of Medina when the Prophet ﷺ came, Abdullah bin Salam. There is a report in Sunan al-Tirmidhi. You can look this up if you want. It's a very famous book, Tirmidhi. You can find this at home. And I've always encouraged you, look up the books of hadith. Don't be shy to look them up and open. What do you lose? They're, they're not going to bite you. Read them. Get, get connected to your tradition. Hadith number 3617. Abdullah ibn Salam said, who said Abdullah ibn Salam? Not the Prophet Abdullah ibn Salam said, it is written in the Torah, the description of the Prophet And it is written in the Torah, the description of Isa ibn Maryam. And the two of them will be buried together. Who said this? Abdullah Salam. It is not a Hadith, is that clear? Where is he getting it from? His version of the Torah. It's clearly not around in our time, by the way, right? Because realize the Jewish Arabs of that time, they have a different tradition altogether. Their traditions and their calendar is different. We know this, again, I'm going to my tangents here, but anyway, <laughs> they are not connected to the mainstream Jewish diaspora that was alive at the time. They have been disconnected for a few centuries or a few decades, at least a century. And so their beliefs and their books are slightly different. And that is very interesting because then we get a window into a preserved Judaism that didn't exist in Babylon or in other places in the world or in Jerusalem uh, as well. But apparently, Abdullah ibn Salam has some books handed down generation to generation that the rest of Jewish folklore doesn't have anymore. And in it, he is saying, I am telling you that Isa and Muhammad Sallallahu are going to be buried together. One of the narrators of this hadith, the third narrator from Adullah ibn Salam, Taba Tabi'i, he said, and there is still a space in the hijr of the Prophet Sallallahu that can accommodate Isa ibn Maryam. Now that is a fact. That is a fact. What is a fact? That in the room of Aisha, the three bodies are this way and there is one portion that technically there is still space for one more body over there. That much is a fact. Whether it will be Isa or not, we say, what do we say? Very good. You guys are learning. Allahu A'lam. There's nothing authentic, but Abdullah ibn Salam is no joke. He is the chief rabbi and he is saying, I'm telling you the two will be buried together. So Allah knows best. So Perhaps Isa will die a natural death and perhaps he will be buried in Medina or perhaps that is not going to... Uh... Wow, 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 wow. Such an amazing video right there. Um, imagine just one day waking up and then you just see peace all of a sudden. Like, uh, no one is fighting. Every, everything is just peaceful no walls no nothing close to uh to fighting one another you get it i mean that would be a very very nice day that would be a best day ever that would be a time that 
you would want to leave in. You get it. And he's actually explaining that um, peace on earth in the final days. I mean, in the final days, probably that's when it's going to be peace. But this is going to be after the Dajjal. And I remember I did a video of uh, the Dajjal way back. And during the Dajjal time, it's going to be a very, very, very bad times. People are going to be deceived and a lot of people are going to follow uh, the, 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 um, the Antichrist and many people are going to perish and a lot of people. So the few who are going to remain or the few people who are going to remain they are the people who are going to have the peace on earth. And I mean, you wouldn't want to be those days of the jail or something like that. And I believe like it's happening right now. And I was even thinking about it. Like there's a movie called Messiah on Netflix. I've watched like four episodes and I think I'm going to do a video about it. Just let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video about the Messiah. But um, according to this video, it's actually telling us about the, um, how peaceful the earth is going to be after... Dajjal and, and he's talking about uh, Jesus Christ or Isa who's gonna come back and he's gonna live for I think 45 years or something like that and he's gonna die a natural death I think this is gonna be like years 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 after I don't think we're gonna be alive or something like that probably gonna be like 70 years actually he was even saying that uh, during this day of peace uh, Jesus Christ or Isa is gonna come down and he's going to live on earth for like 40 something years or something like that and then he's going to die a natural death which is just incredibly amazing but now are we going to see these days that's the question you're supposed to ask yourself are we going to be alive or are we going to die or are we gonna like reincarnate and come back and see these days just let me know the conversation below let me know what do you think about these days do you think this day is near or do you think this day is so far but again it says like it's gonna take like seven years or something like that anyway guys uh if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down the conversation tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what do you feel about this video right here peace on earth in the final days after the job just let me know the comment section below do you think that we experiencing the job at this uh, moment right here or oh, the jail is gonna come probably in the near future just let me know the comment section below and I'll be really uh, happy to you know check your comments and engage with you people and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and last but not the least I'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out